the message is ancient nothing you in pssm nothing is new nothing can be new under the under the sun the same sun the same sunlight the same earth planet the same human being the same ignorance of the human being the same wisdom of the human being truth never changes truth is always there showing itself to everybody who got eyes to see who got right thinking in their mind truth is perceived through right thinking and right thinking is obtained through right living and what is right living not harming any being and living coexistently harmoniously with every other being is called a right living the most important activity of a human being is their eating habits we are what we eat our life is made by our eating and our thinking is made by our living the most important thing that the humanity has missed all through the eternity is that it cannot kill animals birds and fish and eat those carcasses this particular truth has been missed by the vast majority of humanity so called civilized humanity they brutally massacre massacring animals birds, birds and fish people have discovered the atomic energy people have gone to the space to land men on the moon but they have, they don't know what to eat what not to eat it's a very very strange and crazy you are a nobel laureate but you don't know what to eat what not to eat you are a prime minister of a country you are a president of a country but you don't know what to eat what not to eat as a human being as decent human being you know how to make billions of dollars but you don't know how to eat properly very strange and very idiotic so pssm has come to rectify this basic flaw in human behavior in human living basic very very basic fundamental what to eat what not to eat because the whole everything is based upon the base if the base is weak the superstructure is weak so the most important point the whole humanity has missed is to eat rightly that's why we have come here to tell the simple fact to every human being hey guy eat rightly that's how you, your living, right living starts right eating gives you to right living and right living gives you right thinking and right thinking gives you truth you with truth you are liberated without truth you are living in a darkness a dark cave with truth you will come into the light right thinking that is the key word for right thinking right living is the key word for right living right work right food right way of eating the your food right choice of your food is the key word out of right thinking comes good samaritanism we are here to help each other being a good samaritan we are not here to harm each other 
we are here to live symbiotically, not parasitically. An enlightened human being is a symbiotic species. We help each other. We want the whole world, the whole of the humanity to become symbiotic. Helping the animal kind and in turn being helped by the animal kind. Helping the fish kind, in turn being helped by the fish kind. Helping the bird kind, in turn being helped by the bird kind. Live and let live. That is the basic thing. So, there is a tremendous amount of work to be done. We are all here to help Mother Earth revive its own energies, its own happiness through teaching, right living. Right living, that is the key word. We are living wrongly. That should be done. That which should be done is not being done by the humanity. That which should not be done by the humanity is being done by the humanity. Right thinking. How will you get into right thinking? You have to come out of wrong thinking. Then there is a neutral zone called a no thinking. From no thinking emanates the right thinking. From wrong thinking to no thinking to right thinking. So this transformation from wrong thinking to no thinking is called a meditation. From no thinking to right thinking is called enlightenment. Meditation is the base for enlightenment. For any person, for every person, anywhere, any time, any situation. First of all, we should go away, move away from wrong thinking into no thinking. No thoughts are required. Silence is golden, it, is, it has been said. Whereas speech is silver, silence is golden. Why are we talking unnecessarily? Where angels fear to treat, fools rush in with their blah blah. Where angels fear to treat, fools rush in with their mouth. Blah 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 blah. There is no stuff in the soul, but they keep on speaking. They are commenting. They are criticizing. They are advising without any stuff in their selves. That's why it is said, where angels fear to treat, fools rush in with their mouth. What is there to open your mouth? What do you know? So. No talking is called a silence. No thinking is called as meditation. Don't open the mouth. That is silence. Don't allow the mind to function temporarily. That is called a think meditation. Why should you think? What is there for you to think? How to overcome the next neighbor? That's what you are thinking. How to defeat the enemy? Where is the enemy? There is no enemy anywhere.
The enemy is a fiction in the mind. There is no enemy to overcome. And you are using your thinking to overcome your enemy. Imagined enemy, illusionary enemy. Why should you do all those things? Why, why don't you go into no thinking? No speaking is silence. No thinking is meditation. We have got obsessive minds. Your mind is always thinking. All nonsense. All meaningless things. How to defeat your neighbor? How to be one man up? How to practice one up one upmanship compared to the neighbor? No. We are not in competition with anybody. We are here to cooperate with everything. For cooperation, no thinking is required. For competition, thinking is required. For cooperation, no thinking is required. So those people who are given to meditation, practice of meditation, practice of no thinking, they go into cooperative mode. Everybody cooperates with everybody else. From a competitive mode, from an enemy mode, to a friend's, friend's mode, it will transform your life. From right thinking, right thinking comes from no thinking, no thinking comes from wrong thinking. Meditation is the way. That is why in PSM we teach meditation to everybody. Hey guy, sit down calmly, close your eyes, observe your breathing and empty your mind. We don't want any thoughts about your family, about your friends, about your imagined enemies. Just keep quiet. For two hours, three hours, just close your eyes, close your mouth, become one with your breath. Cease to think. Go into a no mind state. And after two or three hours, when they come out of the no mind state, they come into a right thinking state automatically. With right thinking, you become a right citizen of the world. You contribute to everything. You become creative, not destructive. With wrong thinking, you are destructive mode of thinking. With right thinking, you are always in a creative mode of thinking. You become a co-creator. Ninety percent people are living wrongly. Ninety percent. Only ten percent are living rightly. We want the whole hundred percent to live rightly. So what do we do? We teach two things. One is meditation, and that is plant-based living. Right meditation comes from anapanasati, observing the breathing. Right food comes from a vegetarianism. Only two points. These are the sun and the moon of spirituality. The sun is vegetarianism, the moon is meditation. In the daytime, you practice non-killing, non-violence, non-interference. In the nighttime, you practice non-thinking. No thinking. When you are in the daytime, when the sun is there, when you are interacting with people, no killing, no violence, no interference in others' affairs. And in the night, when the sun goes away, when the moon comes in, then sit silently, close your eyes, observe your breathing. The whole night is for meditation. The whole daytime is to, for practicing non-violence, non-interference, non-killing. There is something to practice in the daytime. There is something to practice in the night time. There is something to practice in the sun time. There is something to practice in the moon time. In the sun time, when you are awake, when you are mixing with all the people, when you are doing all the things, when you interaction, no interference with other beings. 
Each one has to live according to its own, his own need, his own desires, his own predicaments, his own prejudices, without interfering with other beings. And no killing, no violence, no physical violence. And in the night time, when the sun goes away, when the moon comes in, when the night sets in, close your eyes, observe your breathing, go into meditation, not into sleep. Night time is not for sleep, night time is for meditation. Daytime is for full active, full active life, but non-killing, non-violent and non-interfering activity in the daytime. Every day brings in an opportunity for you to practice non-killing, non-interference, non-violence. Every night brings you an opportunity to practice meditation. What do we do in the night? See, half an hour of meditation is equal to six hours of sleep. We don't have to sleep. In meditation, you get consciously cosmic energy. In sleep, you get unconscious cosmic energy, only a little bit. But in meditation, you get consciously cosmic energy, abundance. So, people who are wise, they never sleep. They go into meditation always. So use your every sun time, every moon time properly, every day time, every night time properly, Baba. Right living, right day time, right night time. Make yourself into a Buddha. Make yourself into Jesus Christ. Why we remember them? Why are we not like them? This is the education required. Education of becoming a Buddha, education of becoming a Jesus. Education of becoming a Patanjali, 